mate, and welcome to RC Kicks. On today's show, another unboxing for you. Yeah, it's uh, not a little one, it's a bit of a large box. So I get the feeling that Rebecca may have noticed when a forklift truck delivered this box. Yes, it really is that big. Do you want to see it? Oh my God. Look at the size of this monster. It's huge. Now, I'd just like to give a big shout out to Lee from l, l Models who hooked me up with this. Um, I've been waiting on some bits and pieces for a while now because we're all kind of struggling to get hold of kits because the market has all been bought up and then the shipments coming into the UK have been delayed because of all the virus and everything. So finally, it looks like we're getting some kits coming back into the UK. So I've got this monster. Now, so this is a true classic from Tamiya, but just in case you don't know much about this car, the, the first Tamiya 110 scale clock buster was released by Tamiya on Monday the 23rd of September 1987. That's 33 years ago this September. The original clog was endorsed by Chevrolet with the badge on the front grille commonly known as the bow tie, as well as branding on the tailgate with its massive 165 millimeter tires and four wheel drive and steering. It was a first for the RC industry and soon became a sales success. The clod's been credited with starting the whole RC monster truck trend that became more and more popular with Koyosho responding to this boom two years later with a truck called the Double Dare kit 3106. The clog was super popular, so many aftermarket small companies produce upgrade parts that you can still purchase today. Tammy released the Super Clog Buster on Tuesday the 23rd of March 2004 under kit number 58321 with little changing over a colour and a chassis brace. The Super Clod Buster was re-released a further three times by Tammy in 2008 sporting a chrome metal plated body under kit 58423. Then again in August 2013 under kit 58518. And that's the kit I have here. The last re-release was the Super Clog Buster Black Edition, which was 47432, released 8th of February this year. Whew, they re-released this kit a lot. That's how popular it was. Tamiya also released a sister truck to the Clod on Tuesday the 13th of November 1990, and that was the Bullhead. It shared the same chassis as the Clod, but a completely different body design. So there's a bit of history about this car, truck, tank, whatever you want to call it. So I open it up and we can have a look inside. It's massive. Oh my God. It's just, let's put that down there. I have no room in the studio. Look at the size of that. The thing is massive. Now I posted a message on the Facebook uh, RC Kicks group and a lot of people have asked me, what's it like size wise? So that is the tire. Now that doesn't mean a great deal to you guys, but until you get something like this, and then that's the difference. It is monstrously big. So you can imagine. Can you see that? That's the difference in size. <laughs> it almost fits inside. Wow, and that's not exactly uh, small either. To compare that to a normal car, that's the wheel difference. So the inside diameter is, is the outside diameter. I could force that into there. Look at the size of that. It is massive. <laughs> Half the box is four tires. So, this one is four wheel drive, four wheel steer. So it comes with two uh, standard 540 cans, but I happen to have two Koyosho Mega Motors, which are motors designed for the monster trucks. So I'm gonna put these in this car. So that should give it a little bit more oomph. So we've got four tires, which is one third of the box. The chassis, which is pretty massive. A whole bag of parts. Quite heavy, a lot of metal in there. Two motors as well. Uh, where else have we got? I've no idea, inner hubs. <laughs> inner hubs, oh my God, they're huge. Then we've got a load of, oh, the front grille and spotlights. 
the mo the motor mount that goes on the top, the in blower of whatever you want to call it, windscreen, gearbox, suspension. Now this has got friction shocks, so one of the first things we're going to do is change it over to oil. Uh, my God, the size of the arms, huge, massive rims. Don't even know what that is. Bumpers and sort of electronic cover. Loads of gears, bearings as well. I don't know if this has got full bearings uh, or part bearings, that I honestly don't know. Then we've got a few more bits and pieces, stickers and manual. So I'm gonna do a quick montage so you guys can have a quick look at all the uh, packages and then I'll be right back. you liked a first look at the clogbuster this is going to be built on the channel very soon uh, this is tempted to push this up to the point where I build this next and the Ferrari F189 gets pushed down a little bit um, also there is so many modifications you can do to this kit that's what we're gonna do we're gonna pimp this up um, so if you know a lot about the clogs put below what you think should be the upgrades that I should do first to this kit I'm pretty sure it needs to be put onto oil shocks it's one of the first things, I'd even like to put a full metal chassis on this. Um, let's really push the boat out on this one since it is a true icon for uh, Tamiya. <sighs> what do you think? This is probably the kit that I get the most amount of requests for. So I'm guessing this is gonna be a super popular one. So comment below, love it, hate it, never seen it, don't pay any attention to it or it's a must and I have two and I did these upgrades. Let me know in the comments because we're gonna have a lot of fun with this one. See you in the next one, bye bye. Check out one of these RC Kicks videos for some more RC fun.